Happy New Year. Kicking off 2023, we are doing a special hunting challenge with the squad. Each of us has to find one new video game we have never played before to beat in the month of January. Let the hunting begin. Why do you want a book bag? Why do I want a book bag? Because I always buy a lot of stuff and now, thanks to Brian, I have a vintage, and uh, probably 90s, early 2000 N64 book bag to add to my swag collection. You can put all our, uh, the video games in it you steal from us. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sniping everybody left and right. Super cool. Why do you like the N64? Why do I like the N64? Because the N64 was our childhood console growing up as a twin brother in the east side of Columbus. And uh, it's what introduced us to video games. And now we're 30-year-old uh, men playing video games still. All right, so I'm looking for a Super Nintendo game. And there was one that caught my eye that I have never seen before. Power Rangers Zero, uh, Zio Battle Racers. Have you guys heard of this at all? Have you seen this, Jared? It's mine now. Wedgie oh. time. <laughs> Wedgie time. <laughs> Wedgie time. <laughs> Yo, so I just swooped this from Eric, and this is going to be the game I get for the challenge. It's a Power Rangers bike racing battle game. So think like Mario Kart mixed with Twisted Metal. And this game looks really cool. I just looked up some of the gameplay footage. Um, you can be all of these Power Ranger characters that I do not know the name of because I don't really watch Power Rangers. And you can ride bikes that I also don't know the name of their bikes because I also don't watch Power Rangers. But this game looks really cool and this will be my challenge submission. Let's go, baby. Yo, Eric, do you know what time it is? What no, because you're not wearing a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Megazord watch. It's clearly Morphin time. That thing is awesome. It's oh, it's even there. on, too. And they're fighting putties or something. So, Eric, you remember when we were kids, we would always go to the fair and we would play the little balloon games where you yeah. would hit a picture frame and you would win the prize. Check this out. It's actually like a 90s like Rambo uh, picture frame from like the Ohio State Fair or something. Super dope. Nostalgic feels right there. I know we're doing a video game challenge does not mean I cannot buy VHS tapes. Check this out, Cabin Fever, a slasher horror film I have not seen. And what's really awesome about this is it has Ryder Strong from Boy Meets World. Who doesn't love Sean Hunter? One of my favorite sitcom characters, let's go. Nobody's borrowed more pencils than Sean Hunter. <laughs> Yo, guys, check this out. I did not know that there was a Gargoyle game for Sega Genesis. And my man Jared says this is a Genesis exclusive. Really excited to play this. Gargoyles is like top tier 90s nostalgia cartoons. Can't wait to take this to the Sega Genesis. And this might be my game for the challenge. Who's your uh, favorite gargoyle? Oh gosh. Um, what's the one, the red one with like the bigger nose? I forgot his name. He had the white hair. Future Jared, when you edit this, put put footage of that gargoyle on there. He was my favorite. I forget his name though. Kyle, what did you just find? Well, you just pointed this out to me. Oh my God, I was like, don't show me this. I may end up buying it. Either my wife will What's her, is, is it Sally? Me. It's Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. Plugs in. Reminds me of like the old school like Christmas yard displays. Yeah, that that's is sick. Sick. So I looked over and check this out. All these different like displays. Slurpee, Bart Simpson would love that. We got Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Oh, that's sick. Logan. Ooh, Logan. Oh, that Logan is nice. Iron Man 3. We have no idea what we're about to pull. Iron oh, Man. and the oh, Avengers. Avengers. That's, that's that's a clean one. Yeah, these, it's got them all on. Is that tail. is that all of them? Yeah, yeah, that's all of them. These are sick. What did you just find? Yeah, so this is an electronic arcade mania board game. It looks a lot of fun though. I've never even heard of this. What year do we have? 1983, Milton Bradley. Not a big board game guy, but uh, this is a really interesting concept. 
Alien Raiders, Rattler, Sneak Attack, and Run a Mook. Eric, have you ever heard of this? I have not. Would you play this with me? I would not play it with you. You're so mean when you're angry. <laughs> what are you looking at right now? So check this out. Um, of course, I've been into the vintage uh, clothing recently. This is a 90s Walt Disney Andy Warhol inspired t-shirt single stitched uh you know the sides in the bottom official mickey incorporated really cool uh 10 bucks i'm gonna pick it up kyle you just picked up a hat yeah uh vintage ravens new york giants super bowl uh, Ravens went on to win the Super Bowl with Ray Lewis winning the MVP and, uh, that year. Joe Flacco too. But I thought you were a Browns fan. <laughs> they are the true Browns. Oh, Fight and me. this guy over here, <laughs> boo this man. <laughs> All right, so I went to the Super Nintendo games in the case because Jared stole that game off me on the shelf and I didn't see anything else. But in the case, I did see Illusion of Gaia. Uh, as you guys know, I am a JRPG collector. And this is a game I've been wanting to get for a while. Uh, shout out to Pixel Game Squad. I've seen Ricky wear the shirt. Uh, Jared got the Illusion of Gaia shirt. So I've seen the t-shirt, never played the game though. So I'm really excited to pick this up. And I think this is gonna be my new game for the year. So let's go. Pull it out, Furman. Oh, I will, only on camera though. You've highly offended me. What are you getting, dude? So I just spotted this. The Shawshank Redemption. A lot of people think this is one of the best movies ever made. I haven't seen it. Don't judge me, internet. Don't you do it. Jared, have you heard of this? Yeah, it's an 80s uh, horror slasher movie, right? What is it? Just all shanking, right? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a... Uh... That does sound scary. Yo, guys, so I found this. This is actually going to be my addition uh, to the challenge uh, because I've never played this video game before, and I'm all about playing Mo games. Oh, no, hold on. It's... What? I meant to say this. Dude, so are you getting this? I got the seal of approval. Well, the, the wife approved? The, the text that, do you think we should get this? That means go ahead and buy Go it. ahead and do it, man. He's pulling the trigger on Sally. So we're on the hunt for VHS, I guess, as well. And check out what I got. So Whoa. two classic horror movies, Children of the Corn, Stephen King, and then John Carpenter's Christine. Wait, that's a horror movie? I figured corn, it's a comedy, right? So it's, it's not corny? It's, oh my God. But yo, check this out. So this is actually a Charles Manson clamshell VHS. I can't tell, is it a movie or a documentary? It's from 1984, 25 bucks. Um, I'm looking on eBay listing right now and I'm seeing them go for about 60, 65. Whoa. So it's, de yeah, it's definitely kind of an uncommon um, tape. I've never seen it. So I'm gonna pick this up as well and we'll see what it is. So Eric, my hands are sore because look at this massive stack of VHS I'm picking up. Let's see what we got here. We got Clint Eastwood, Charlie Sheen, The Rookie, Good, Bad, and the Ugly, Best Western Ever Made, Not the Hotel, Die Another Day, James Bond, The Hunt for Red October. That's my Sean Connery. How was that, Eric? Selena, <laughs> J-Lo was my first celebrity crush, so I had to get that. And I'm exploding in Harrison Ford right now. Dude, Crazy. another uh, Jack Ryan uh, Exactly. Movie. So we got Patriot Games, Clear and Present Danger. Nice. Mission Impossible. Great movie. Casablanca. Both Men in Black movies. And capping it off with Jerry Maguire. Some more Tom Cruise love. Oh yeah. I do all my own stunts too, Tom. What you got here, uh, Kyle? What are we doing here? Brought some gifts for some people here. You guys just recently celebrated a birthday, so I'll start with you, Jerry. Oh, sick, dude. Ooh, a lunchbox. Look at that, a Peanuts lunchbox. Uh, we got it dated. So I assume it's a 1960s, right? Because yeah. it's probably the latest date on the box. Oh, this was the trick, dude. Yo, check this out. That's sick. So a Michael Jordan Come Fly With Me 1991 Sports Illustrated VHS tape. Dude, Kyle, that is fire. It's dated. It's like classic Jordan um, when he truly started getting his hype. Like, yeah. um, and then check this out. Oh, gosh. It's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fall of Foot Clan. 
No, you like your beat em ups. I do, I do, and it's a great Game Boy beat em up too. It's actually on the compilation, I believe, that came out um, for the TMNT recently. I know, Eric, you bought it. So, so what do we got here? So that would come in like a, a video game, like either a, like yeah. one of your NES games, like okay. when you're phasing out like to the classic series. And then also has like the um, Game Boy stuff on it. Too. Yeah, I love I love the back of it, man. That's definitely yeah, something that's I'm really gonna cool. be framed. And it's got the Game Boy, the Super Nintendo, and the NES. Awesome, Kyle. Thank you so yeah, much, man. dude. This one's for you. Oh, sick! Look at that, dude. It's the Nintendo Wii uh, Twilight Princess one. Oh my god, dude. That's awesome, man. Oh. Oh, uh, the Origami King uh, yeah, pre-order. Yeah, I don't know if you had those. No, but. I didn't because I didn't pre-order it, but I love this game. This is freaking awesome. And then it looks like we got two. I'm going to set this down on the floor real quick. Squatting still a little hard post-surgery. Uh, <laughs> what kind of surgery did you have, Eric? Yeah, I had... Uh... Hey, Eric, can you go ahead and drop your pants for me, please? Oh, yeah! Have you had your fun today? And it's all like these classic Game Boy titles. Like I see Kid Icarus on there. There's the Mario Golf. Um, really yeah, freaking sick. Back, it looks okay. like you might like it. Oh, dude, Return of Samus. That is sick, Kyle. Oh my God, this is going framed in the yeah. game room. What? You asked dude. me about that one day. You saw it in my oh, photo. Oh my God, I was collecting dude. I'm like, I know what the perfect that? person dude, to Dude, it's it like to. a little Link candy, like a Smarties type thing. Is it old? Uh, yeah, it's, um, let's find the date. Yeah, 2007. Very cool. The candy's so, still good, right? It, it's wild <laughs> to, it's wild to think that, um, 2007 is old now. Yeah, it, it doesn't really feel is, yeah. like that. <laughs> this goes to my new friend here. What? Yes. Uh, Kyle. I've been no. shutting it because Kyle it's kind of hard gifts, to open. It's Kyle, like... is your last name Claus? Yeah. Yes, it is. Oh, oh my gosh. Gosh. Uh, But if you can't tell, I love Game Boy and I love sharing the love of Game Boy with people. So I thought I'd throw in that. No, Kyle, this is super impactful because I had this exact color of Game Boy Color growing up. Nice. I had that to share it with my cool. sister and it was horrible sibling arguments, but that's we got a little Pikachu winking. So um, we see some Amiibo here and I'm picking up uh, one that I've been looking at for a while right now. It is one of the greatest, if not the greatest legendary Pokemon of all time, Mewtwo. Um, one of my favorites. Um, so definitely excited to add this to the Amiibo collection, get another Pokemon. Well, I won the challenge. <laughs> Great day, guys.